Today is 15 October uh, 2024, two days after Jimmy's birthday. Um, I'm taking a rest uh, the whole day yesterday. I'm going to back to the camera again and giving you Jimmy reading. Yeah. Today's theme is still around Jimtober, which is celebrating Jimmy's birthday. Yeah, we're going to uh, do a federal reading uh, based on your question in this post. I will try as best as I can to answer all questions here. I want to prioritize question that is not involving his future spouse or his twin plan because those questions is actually not about Jimin but it's about his future spouse which is his wife. Yeah, we're not going to let his future spouse sabotage his birthday. Uh, this is from Olga yesterday. I missed, I completely missed this. Uh, how do BTS member Bang Si Kyuk and Pido feel about Jimin now, right? She asked that. I completely unaware that she also asks about how BTS members feel about Jimin right now. We're going to pull seven cards from here to uh, not seven cards, six cards from here to see what each BTS member feels about Jimin right now. Yeah. Here are the cards. I didn't see the cards. I don't see the, the card. Yeah, I only you see the cards. Because I don't want to be biased. Jin. Namjoon. Okay, we start with Namjoon. This is how Namjoon feels about Jimin right now. Ten of Cups. He feels that Jimin is his family. Yeah. Uh, this is my brother. He loves Jimin, yeah. I, and I'm not saying this in a shipping way, yeah. But he loves Jimin. He's not a Jeho, Taehyun, Jungkook, Jin. Okay. This is how Jin feels about Jimin, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we gotta clarify this letter about what is this about. Yeah. J Ho. Thank you. Yeah, this is Taehyun. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is healing energy, something that is concealing. Uh, this is also energy of retreat. Um, Holiday, yeah, relaxing. He finds Jimin quite relaxing. Maybe he got some trouble and then he called Jimin and then uh, it makes him feeling better after he talked with Jimin. Yeah, uh, it's also a card about uh, you are a good listener for me. You listen to all my problem and I'm very happy to have you as my friend. Your energy is very healing. He find his safe space around Jimin and I'm not saying this in a shipping way, yeah, in a creepy way, which is in a gay way. They are not gay. And I'm gonna remind you always, yeah? Uh, is this Junko? Okay, is this Suga? This is how Suga feeling, two of ones. Uh, this is card about distance, this is also card about plan, this is card about... Uh, but I think this is talking about distant. Uh, I don't think they're in contact. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it feels like uh, when was the last time I talked with Jimin? Yeah, when was the last time I spent time with Jimin? Yeah. Okay, we gotta see this again later on. Yeah, to see what is this about. Okay, we gotta see if this is Jeho. Chungku. This is Jungkook's card, how do you feel about Jimin, Queen of Wands, yeah. Queen of Wands is card of creativity, card of a feminine, that is fiery energy, yeah. Um, uh, I think he see Jimin as like uh, his real energy, yeah. I mean, it's not in a romantic way where like, I see you as who you truly are, no. It's like uh, he sees Jimin as someone who's uh, fire. Yeah, I'm not saying that Jimin, you're so hot. No, not like that. Yeah, as someone who's uh, like uh, 
when you see your friend doing a very cool thing and in a streak, yeah, yeah, uh, that's how you feel, yeah. My friend is so cool, yeah, he keeps doing cool things over and over again. I'm so proud that I know him and I hope people know that I know him, yeah, because your friend is very cool, super cool, so uh, you're, you're feeling happy that you know them, yeah. Hey, that's my friend. He's very, very proud of Jimmy, yeah. And so this is J Hope, yeah, four of coins. Four of coins is about obligation, about possessiveness, stubbornness, and belongings. This is a very 4D card, yeah. This is about someone who's like Uncle Scrooge, yeah. I want to clarify this card first because I really don't know what he means by this, yeah. I Okay, let's use the clarifier. Yeah, why four of pentacles? Why Jacob feel this about Jimin? Yeah. Queen of Cups. Okay, uh, he loves Jimin. Yeah, I love Jimin. He has uh, so much love, brotherly love, of course, to Jimin. Hey, okay, are you okay? Yeah, is there something happened to you? Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, he is being protective to Jimin, yeah, worry about his safety, he just want to make sure that he is fine and he drink his vitamins, something like that, yeah, because he has a love for Jimin, I love Jimin, and again, this is not in a gay way, he's not a gay, Jacob is not a gay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, there's a lot of protective energy. Yeah, I feel from here because it's four of pentacles. It's mine. I'm not gonna give you anything. Yeah, anything that Chikukur says about uh, Junko being possessive to Jimin, Jimin offer, uh, Junko offer protective to Jimin. Uh, this is the energy in Jacob. Yeah. is the reason why king of knight of pentacles okay we gotta ask okay is this about business or about friendship or about anything something else what is this about i got a feeling if this is about friendship then there, there is something deep about this that uh we cannot uh figure out the answer only in this shallow reading yeah if you want to find out maybe we are going to look for it in a deeper reading maybe uh their connection together anyway let's see this is about five of ones i do believe that actually they fight a lot <laughs> there's a lot of argument between them yeah there's a lot of like uh, disagreement yeah Five of Wands, yeah, conflict between them, yeah. I do realize that Jimin is kind of ignoring Jin and it makes Jin frustrated. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I'm not saying this in a shipping way, I mean, it's like, I'm not saying that uh, it's like a couple fight, you know, but it's like, uh, uh, there's something between them that is, uh, make them sometimes or most of times disagree with something, yeah. And I think with this Ace of Pentacles, it's like they're working on this friendship, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know Jimin, uh, Jimin uses Jin as his avatar in the first. So uh, I think it is a part of the attempt of working on their friendship together, so they're not fighting anymore. We cannot just understand this just by this shallow reading. Yeah, this kind of shallow reading. We're just looking at it shallowly right now, right? Just the surface of it. Yeah. Truth is not that oh the cards say this then this is the truth. No. Yeah. Truth is more to layers like onion. Yeah. Well, once you open one layer, there's another layer. Yeah. Sometimes you understand the first layer is A, and then as you open the next layer, you discover it is uh, truth. It's actually A S, and then when you open the next layer, 
actually the truth is that A, and you're wondering why it looks like AS before, but it's actually Z A, yeah? And so you take more and then you finally understand why AS and Z A is actually the same. Yeah? Truth is like that, yeah? So uh, I hope you all can be humble enough and be wise, yeah, to not just judge people from the surface level, yeah, there's a lot of layers in every truth, in everything, yeah, alright, so this is about Jin and Jin, I think they're working on their friendship because they often disagree on things, yeah, I'm not saying that they hate each other, they just disagree on things, yeah, uh, yeah five of ones, they often disagree on things, yeah, Alright, uh, clarify this Queen of Wands, yeah, Jungkook, let's clarify Jungkook. The clarifier, Hierophant, okay, clarify more, clarify this Hierophant. Hierophant, Ace of Swords and King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, Hero of One. We mentoring energy here. Look, Ace of Swords, yeah. This is teacher energy. If this is Ace of Cups, this is romance. But this is Ace of Swords, so this is mine, yeah. Ideas means uh, this is the energy of teacher, yeah. Teacher, Hero of One, King of Pentacles, and Ace of Swords. This is teacher, mentorship energy, yeah. This is clearly a uh, this is giving a strong mentoring energy between them, yeah, and I think the teacher is Jungkook, yeah. Uh, this is clarifying uh, my previous reading about Jimin and Jungkook, are they dating? But apparently they are a uh, mentor and student where Jungkook is the teacher, yeah. And I think he was proud of Jimin, yeah, because uh, I think this is about growth, yeah. So what makes a teacher proud to his student is when his student is finally rise, yeah? So uh, in the pre uh, previous reading about Jimin and Jugo, we discovered that they are actually like mentor and student. It's the same thing with the Pan Sihyuk, yeah? Jungkook's role in Jimin's life is the same thing with uh, Pan Sihyuk's role in Jimin's life, yeah? which is as a mentor, as someone who's trying to help Jimin to dig out his full potential, yeah? We don't know about Namjoon yet, maybe it's the same, or maybe it's a slightly different, but uh, Bang si Hyuk and Jungkook plays the similar role into Jimin's life, which is as mentor, yeah? To help him with his creative creativity, yeah? And now, the Queen of Wands, he is very creative, he is very like, I'm not afraid to show what I feel, I'm not afraid to show what I think, yeah? Which is, he has become successful in expressing his authenticity, yeah? Queen of Wands is the queen of authenticity, is someone who is very authentic, uh, okay? Let's not say gender, yeah? Uh, even if a man got a Queen of Wands energy, I'm not gonna say that that man has got a strong feminine fire energy, yeah, because that's not what Queen of Wands means. Queen of Wands means you have a strong authenticity, yeah. King of Wands means you have a strong vision, but Queen of Wands means you have a strong authenticity, yeah. And this is how Jungkook feel about Jimin. It's in, in short, he feels like. You made it, man. You made it, bro. You made it. And I'm proud of you. Something like that. That's how Jungkook feel about Jimin. I think this is very clear. Do we need clarification? I don't think I we mean need. Because it's very obvious, like, right? Very obvious. The young always seeking for Jimin if he need comfort, right? I think that's very obvious how he feel about Jimin. He feels like Jimin is his safe space, yeah? And I think he's very grateful that uh, God placed Jimin around him, yeah? Okay, let's see more, and I think this is already clear. Do we need clarification about it? I think it's pretty simple, yeah? I want to clarify this to a point, Suga's card. How Suga feel about Jimin? Why two of points? Why two of points? This is 12 points. 
A five of cups. Yeah, he missing him. Yeah, I think Suga miss Jimin. Yeah, Suga miss Jimin. For some reason, they they don't talk as they used to be. Yeah, I don't know if it it's like because. Let's find out. Yeah, there's like a um, it's when we when is the last time I talked with Jimin, right? It's something like that. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, is it because they don't talk anymore, or is it because uh, they fight, or is it because uh, military be military service, or is it because he lost his number, <laughs> or what? Yeah, tell us, tell us. Why? Why? Why they don't talk anymore? Why he misses Jimin? Okay. Eight of Swords. Someone is restricted, yeah. Either maybe Suga is restricted, or Jimmy who is restricted, or both of them. But uh, I think this is not about their fight. Uh, we gotta find out. Is it because their fight or because of duty? Yeah, right away. King Knight of Swords. So it's about military service. They are very restricted, and I think Suga misses Jimmy. Where is Jimmy? I misses talking to him. I think their their sense of humor match to one another, yeah. And I think that's why Suga misses Jimin. And I'm not saying this in a shipping way, yeah. Uh, they uh, they are not in contact because they are in the military service. Yeah. Okay, once again, Olga, thank you so much for the question. Yeah. Which BTS member loves Jimin the most, and who Jimin loved the most? Yeah. Uh, we just did that reading, right? And I think from the cards that show up of how they feel about Jimin. I think who loves Jimin the most is like a, with Jungkook and Jimin, it's like a mentor student, so it's like a parental love yeah, between them. Uh, with Taehyung, it's definitely a friendship love, but it's more like a, I love you because I need you. I love you because uh, you are beneficial to me. Yeah, it shows. I'm not saying that the love isn't genuine. But uh, the energy is like that. Yeah, Taehyung has reason why he loves Jimin, which is because Jimin is uh, give him such a calming. Yeah, which is, which is. Uh, I think it's more like a codependency. If he's not careful, it could lead to some codependency situation. So it's kind of. Yeah, we know the codependency is very toxic, where you are very dependable to someone. You're losing your own ability to depend on yourself. That's the toxic side of the codependency, but I don't think they are uh, into that far. Yeah, it's just the feeling I get from Taehyung is that I'm very grateful that God sent you around me. You, uh, but the feeling I get is more like uh, uh, you and your mom. Yeah, your mom is a safe space, right? Or you to your big sister. Your big sister always got your back. Something like that, right? Or your big brother, right? your big brother always stand up for you and teach you how to handle things. Yeah, that is the part that I got. Yeah, big brother, big brother, sibling energy, family energy. Yeah, Namjoon is also family energy. Um, with J Hope is also about mom energy. Yeah, that J Hope really worried if Jimin got sick. Yeah, he's very protective over Jimin. We see that it's Four of Coins and Queen of Cups. There's a deep love that J Hope has for Jimin, deep genuine care that J Hope has for Jimin. And uh, with Jin, they both uh, are like working on their friendship to not fight anymore. <laughs> so I think uh, he's the least, yeah. And also, Suga, Suga misses him so much, yeah. Uh, Suga misses him so much. I think they're very close, yeah. I think they're very close together. They uh, like. I miss the time that we talk together, yeah. But uh, I think that's how Suga is, right? Um, it's not saying that he's something special, yeah. It's just the feeling that you feel when you uh, have have to be separated with your best friend and have to be not in contact for months, yeah. That's how you feel, yeah. You gotta miss your best friend without uh, without you need to like. I want to. I miss my best friend, best friend so much because I I feel like I want to sleep with him. Right? You don't feel like you want to sleep with your best friend that you miss, right? 
love is not about you want to romance someone yeah not about that yeah love is universal yeah so i think among them people who love Jimin so much are Suga, Namjoon, J-Hope, Daehyun, yeah? Uh, from Jungkook, I just see it like a teacher student, yeah? Uh, it's not, uh, I think the other four are more personal than Jungkook, yeah? With Jungkook, it's like you see uh, your junior finally made it as a, a champion because of your guidance. That is how I feel about Jungkook and Jimin, yeah? Uh, but, yeah, of course, Jungkook is the younger, but Jungkook is the mentor, yeah? And among these four, I think uh, people who love Jimin the most is... Uh, I don't know, you decide, okay? Taehyung is feeling very grateful that Jimin is around him. J-Hope is offer protective and want to make sure that Jimin is fine because he has such a deep care to Jimin, yeah? And Namjoon, uh, Namjoon definitely feel, uh, like, he is my brother, but we are not on the same flesh and blood, yeah? And Suga is like, I miss him so much. I miss talking to him, yeah? So you decide, who do you think among these four love Jimin the most, yeah? Okay, now we gotta see the reversal. Well, we gotta pull six cards to see how Jimin feels towards them. Yeah. Okay, here are six cards about how Jimin feels to the other BTS member. Yeah, Wait, yeah look. Uh, how Jimin feels towards the other BTS member. Is this Jim? Suga. Okay. This is how he feels about Suga. Ace of Cups. Uh, we're gonna see this later, but so our uh, initial thoughts is that uh, Suga is remembering Jimin, like right? Suga is mi missing Jimin. And the uh, vibe from Suga, it seems like he is sad that Jimin is not here and he wanna, he missed the times when he talked and drank with Jimin. But the, what Jimin feels about Suga is more like, uh, more positive, yeah? Suga, Suga is like, uh, Jimin is not here, but Sh Jimin is like, uh, I have times uh, doing this with Suga, yeah, drinking, talking, yeah, uh, like that, uh, I, I don't know, um, that, that is the vibe, but this is S of Cups, not Six of Cups, right, so we gotta put this later, but that's the initial thoughts, yeah, overall, how he feels towards Suga is very positive, yeah, I think he's very optimistic, and I think if he remembers Suga, he remembers him in a positive uh, filter, yeah? Alright, let's see, if this is Namjoon, this is Jeho, Baekhyun, Jungkook, Sokjin, alright, this is how he feel about Sokjin, Queen of Cups. Uh, he's deeply loving to Jin, yeah, it's like, I love this bro, yeah, uh, it's like, uh, I, I, his, Jimmy's nature is uh, loving, yeah, his nature is loving, in a way that uh, people who don't get used to with this kind of people, is, they will see this person as, he's shippable with everyone around him, right? But he, it's just his nature. His nature is that I love these people. Yeah, I love. And when he loves, it means a lot to him. To the point where people misunderstood that there's something romantic between them. This is how we feel towards uh, Jin. It's uh, like mom. Yeah. Uh, what I mean by mom is not. I'm saying. I'm not saying that he is a sissy. 
But I'm saying that he got that nurturing, loving. You know, I remember that time that clip where uh, Jin, uh, fits Jin, and then he records Jin as Jin is eating. And then Jimin says that now I feel how, what mothers feel when she see her children eat. That yeah, that's how uh, that's how Jimin feels to Jin. Yeah, he loves Jin so much. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, the love that to your sibling, yes, to your siblings, to your brother. Yeah, but it's it's the love that where he feel it. And I'm not saying that they're gay. Nam Jun. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This is Chunko, the moon. It is something related to divine feminine energy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's something related to his divine feminine energy, uh, which is synchronized with how. Chungku feels toward Jimin, that is represented by the Queen of Wands earlier, yeah? It's also talking about feminine energy, right? And this is also talking about feminine energy. I don't think we can decipher the meaning in just one card. We gotta put this back, yeah? We gotta put this on the table and we gotta see it later. Okay, let's see, is this J-Ho? Namjoon? Okay. This is how he feels towards Namjoon. Ten of points. This is reciprocating. This is the similar energy with how Namjoon feels towards Jimin. Yeah. As so, it's like I am you, you are me. Yeah. So how you feel about me is how I feel about you. Very synchronic city. Yeah. Very synchron. Yeah. They are very in sync together. Yeah. Uh, one is ten of cups. One is ten of points. Yeah. It's very very match. Yeah. Uh, it's like. Uh, it's very reciprocating, yeah, how they build towards each other. Okay, we gotta put this here and now we see. Is this J Ho? Tae Hyun. Okay, this is how Tae Hyun feels. Uh, Jimin feels towards Tae Hyun. The sun, yeah, look. Uh, Tae Hyun, very grateful about Jimin being here in his life, yeah, because it's like. Uh, Jimin give him such comfort, yeah. It's so comfortable around you, yeah. But Jimin feels that Taehyung is such a vibe. He's very, he give him a lot of happiness in his life and in his art, yeah. So Taehyung got sun, Jimin got a moon, yeah. Uh, sun, moon, yeah, yin, yang. <laughs> okay, I think Taehyung makes Jimin very, very happy. Anyway, uh, po uh, popular popular interpretation of the moon is one of them is about fear. But this this person got all out. Yeah, I can be free with you. I can be myself with you. Everything is clear as day. Yeah, you make me so happy. You make me a happiest person in the world. Yeah. Okay. So this is J Hope. Yeah, Hierophon. Uh, he feels. Hyrupan is. Uh, I don't think that Jimin respects J Hope so much. Yeah. I think he. Uh, I think whenever he said that J Hope is the greatest dancer, not me. Yeah. And he gave all the spotlight to J Hope. It's because actually he feels so highly about J Hope. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, it's he's aware that he's more popular than J Hope. Yeah. He got more uh, praise than J-Hope, but deep inside, I feel like he is thinking that why they praising me? J-Hope is better than me. If it seems like Jimin want J-Hope to got all the spotlight, he's being genuine with that. Yeah. Okay. Now let us see the cards that is rather confusing, which is the moon. Yeah. Jungkook's card is very confusing and very mysterious, yeah, what, why he feels the moon towards Jungkook? Okay, this is why he feels the moon towards Jungkook. First, 
uh, three of coins, ten of coins, and then nine of cups. There's something that he wants. How should I read this? Filter to work. No, this is still not about love, romantic. No, this is not. Yeah. Uh, um, this is this is about like there's something deep between them, indeed. Yeah. There's something deep between them. Yeah. Uh, which is related to Jimin's wish fulfillment. Yeah, wish fulfillment. I think they share the similar similar wish, which is to have a family on their own. Yeah. And uh, they also have a similar wish, right? They both wish for a wife. Yeah. As we see, uh, yeah, I kind of feel bad. In a previous reading, I said that Jimin is like, "Where is my money?" <laughs> right? There's a contract between them. That uh, the form of the contract is a uh, like collaboration. Uh, it seems like Jimin and Jungkook were met because they have a similar journey yeah they have a similar journey and similar goal yeah and so it's like the two kids who got lost together and then they scared everything is so uh, so they are holding on together to find their way back home yeah uh, and this is like that yeah so but if you want to force this uh, this sounds like a twin plan no it's not a twin plan yeah twin plan journey is not about that yeah that is and that is uh, about a soul contract between them, yeah, because they have a similar karma, yes? They have a similar karmic situation, yeah? So they are placed together to work together, and I think to teach each other, because they have a common dream, common goal, common issues, yeah? Remember? I, I, I say that in the past, right? They have a common issues. Just imagine two uh, passions of cancer, bone cancer in example, yeah, the same cancer, uh, the same the same illness, the same disease, and they are in uh, quarantine together, and so they find, play, uh, they find uh, friends with one another, yeah, because we got common issues, common goal, yeah, and that's why the uh, universe placed them together so they can work on their issues together, yeah, this is what they want, yeah, this is what they want, family yeah both of them wants family the clarifier is the world so this is obviously not romantic between them but to close a cycle they need to uh, close a cycle to have a new beginning uh, to reach their happiness and that's why this is not romantic if this is romantic it's gonna show the lovers yeah uh, this is not definitely rom not romantic between them but uh, if you say soulmate I would say soulmate but it's like a friendship soulmate yeah it's that kind of soulmate where you are uh, with your friend so definitely not single feeling of like I want to sleep with you yeah it's nothing like that but it's a friendship soulmate if, if you are here in my channel for so long you're gonna know that I really love to tease Chikook shippers <laughs> yeah they can come and go yeah, yeah but they, uh, which is to find their love true love and build family happy family they have common goal in that, and I think they also got common issues. Yeah, where Jungkook is saying, "Where is my wife? Where is my wife?" Jimin also, yeah, Jimin also have that feeling. Where is my wife? Where is my wife? Which means obviously they are not into each other. Yeah, because if they are into each other, why would they they so desperate to find their wives, right? Okay, um, so. I think with this card show up as how he feels about Jungkook, I think he recognize their connection, the nature of their connection, yeah? Which is, if you want to think that Jimin has a twin flame, means Jimin and Jungkook actually are soulmates to help one another to reach their twin flame, to find their twin flame, yeah? So they are not twin flame to one another, yeah? but to help each other find their twin flames, yeah? So definitely not romantic. Do we need explanation about this? I think this is pretty clear, right? Very, very clear. It's not something... All right, I want to clarify this, Ace of Cups. Why he feel this way towards Suga? 
Yeah, I think Jimin realized the depth of their connection with Jungkook. Yeah, and I think he's also very grateful about Jungkook. Uh, the way that him feeling grateful that Jimin is in his life. All right, clarify this as of cups. Oh yeah, if you're wondering which of them give me a gay vibes, this one and this one. That's giving me strong gay vibes. Yeah, if you wanna force that Jimin is gay, I'm gonna say that his partner, if not Jin, then Suga. <laughs> because of the cards. Yeah. And remember, Suga miss Jimin, but Jimin feels as of cups. It's kind of reciprocating, right? So if he is gay, who that he will choose as a partner? From the cards that show up, I'm, I'm going to place my bet on Suga. He's going to date Suga if he's gay. Why do you feel the Ace of Cups or Suga? Feels Ace of Cups towards Suga. Knight of Cups. See, they give me a gay vibe. Ace of Dude, are they gay? <laughs> Dude, are they gay? Oh my god, one missed the other and the other failed his way. Oh my god, I mean, King of Nine of Cups, come on. <laughs> oh god, are they gay? You know, when I first when I first learning about tarot, and it's like about like three years ago, I got my first channel, yeah. I also make this reading, yeah, how they feel towards each other, yeah. And when I come up to how Jimin feels towards uh, Suga, I also got the same reaction. Oh my god, what the fuck? I remember the card show up is higher fun, but the vibe is really weird. Yeah, so I, I, I asked my spirit guide, Oh my god, are they gay? <laughs> are they gay? Oh, oh my god, so we're gonna clarify that, yeah? Are they gay? Okay. <laughs> Is this the card? Are they gay? Alright, are they gay? Oros! This is getting even weird, yeah. This is like saying gay in closet. Clarify more. Are they gay? <laughs> is this romantic? Is this friendly? Or what is this? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay. Are they gay? Nine of Pentacles. No. No, they are not gay. Yeah. You know, if you ask someone if someone loves you or not and this card show up, uh, means they don't even care about you, yeah? <laughs> so this is the most single card in tarot deck, yeah? So, yeah, no. No, it is about deep, uh, also about deep friendship between them, yeah? But I think they both are quite similar person. I mean, like, someone who, when they love someone, they feel it. So it gives impression that they are homosexual, yeah? But Apparently, uh, it is not. Look, this is the answer. No, they are not gay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this, okay? So, because Jimin's energy is very loving, yeah? He can, he can pet a dog and it makes you think that he is into animals, yeah? But apparently, that's not how he feels at all, right? This, it's just how he is, right? It's gonna make people misunderstood him, yeah? Always make people misunderstood by doing this. Uh, okay, I can read. Why Ace of Cups? Because uh, he got so much love to Suga. Yeah, he got so much love. It's always fun with Suga, and it's like uh, he got a lot to give to Suga. Yeah, and remember, this is not gay. Yeah. So uh, I think it's similar. Yeah, with how Suga feels to Jimin, where Suga feels like, oh, where is Jimin? I miss Jimin so much. I miss the time when I talk to Jimin. I miss the time when we're together. I miss the time when we are uh, joking to one another. Where is Jimin? Suga is in the uh, scarcity fight. Yeah, I mean like uh, he's focused to what's missing. 
but Jin Min, he's focused on what exists. Yeah, uh, what exists between me and Suga is these memories. Yeah, and I love these memories. He really enjoy to remind himself of uh, his good times that he has with Suga. And um, uh, but I think judging from uh, Suga's card, I don't think they are in a communication right now. But uh, Jimin is uh, like uh, able to maintain this into like uh, you know flexible. He's the kind of friend when if you don't see him in like ten years, and then you see him then him again, he's he can continue your friendship. Uh, right from where it ends. Yeah, he's that type type of friends. Yeah, so he got a lot of love to give to Suga, and yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe him when he said that Suga is cute. Yeah, because that's how he is. Yeah, he can say that someone is cute without intention of dating them. Let's ask. I know you're curious. Yeah, why they are not dating? Why they are not dating? King of Cups, because that's their nature, yeah. Not because somebody is rejecting the other, yeah. But it's because it's their nature. Yeah. King of Cups. It's just their nature to uh, love their friends this way, yeah. And it's okay. Everybody has a very different standard, very very standard. Maybe to you and to me. This standard is like giving okay vibes, yeah. But to them, this is a very normal friendship standard, yeah. And we have to respect that, yeah. We have to respect. If their standard is like that, and our standard is not, why should we push our standard to them, right? Let's see, uh, another gay vibes card. <laughs> Still. But I don't think this is gay because of how Jin feels so much Jimin. Which is, uh, they often have a disagreement. They often fight yeah, to one another. But they are trying to work on their friendship. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Uh, we got King of Pentacles. Yeah, protective energy. Clarify. Why do you feel this way towards Jin? Hangman. Okay, we got the strength and ace of pentacles, but it's rejected. However, the energy is king of pentacles and the hangman. Yeah. So I do think I do think that yeah again this is similar energy with how Jin feels towards Jimin. Hangman and is equal to the five of wands. Which is like, uh, I think Jin is uh, doing something that, oh no, no, no. Uh, they trigger each other, yeah, it's obvious. They trigger each other. They often fight with one another, yeah. And I think uh, they are not in a good terms right now, but uh, they do still care deeply towards one another, yeah. Look. Jimin really loves Jin, yeah. It's like um, uh, he he see himself as his mom and his dad, yeah. And also, uh, Jin is also working on his own issues, so they they are not fighting anymore, yeah. So looking at the question, Shuri Jaffe, I'm sorry if I misspell your name, yeah. Uh, which BTS member loved Jimin the most and who Jimin loves the most? Who Jimin loves the most? I think Suga. Yeah, I mean, look, man, look. Look, look. Yeah, and all cups here with Suga. Yeah. I think he loves Suga the most. Yeah. And I think uh, who loved Jimin the most, I think is uh, Jacob. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, that's what I think. Okay. Yeah, if you want to tell me what you think about this, yeah, feel free to do that in the comment section. Yeah, I would like to hear it, of course.
I'm gonna close the reading here because the duration is already more than one hour. Yeah, spare me on the editing process, please. I want to publish this video today. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the reading here today. Uh, I hope you'll have fun the way I have fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching and Borahe. Yeah, I'll see you again on the next video.